there's this amazing uh, groundswell of interest in the ability uh, not just to understand why we age, but as I wrote on my book, why we don't have to. And this breakthrough was the ability to turn on, and we discovered three genes in particular were very safe to be able to reverse aging by about 60 to 75 percent. These three genes um, are called OCT4, SOX2, and KLF4. Uh, we call them OS and K for short. And these OSK genes are normally only switched on in embryos. Uh, they keep stem cells young. Um, and they're part of a set of genes that are named after a scientist called uh, Shinya Yamanaka in Japan, who won the Nobel Prize for the discovery of how to turn an adult stem, uh, adult cell, like a skin cell, back into a stem cell. Uh, but what we did was we, we reasoned that if we took a, just a few of those genes, we wouldn't make our bodies go back to a stem cell because that would turn us into a tumor. It would take us partially back in a, in a, in a safe way and rejuvenate the cell without making the cell lose its identity and become a cancer. And that worked. So what one interesting molecule is called alpha-ketoglutarate. And it is a, a molecule that's typically used by the body as part of an energy cycle. Uh, it's also used to make amino acids. It's, it's a pretty common molecule. But what was discovered is that those three genes that we reversed aging with um, in the mouse and in human cells, uh, can be activated or assisted by this alpha ketoglutarate or AKG. And uh, if you put it on human cells, the, their age goes backwards. We can measure that very accurately now by reading the chemical changes on the genome, on the DNA. Um, and so alpha ketoglutarate seems very safe. Uh, you can take it as a pill. And there are some, I would say, early uh, and in need of verification studies that show that the the age of the blood in people that take this molecule goes backwards um, by years, in fact. And alpha-ketoglutarate, if you feed that to mice, they actually live longer and are healthier. Well, this isn't my research. Uh, we're doing research, but what I'm telling you is research that's out of other labs. Brian Kennedy is a leader in this field. He's over in Singapore. I trained with him uh, in the 1990s, so it's, uh, I know him very well in his research and I trust him. And so I think this is an example of the future where there will be a cocktail of molecules, safe ones that you can take, and the doctor will, or you can measure at home your age. Um, I've developed a test that you can take a cheek swab, mail in your DNA or the cells, and you'll get uh, the number of your, your biological age. And then you can, with your doctor or even without, you can monitor your age and see if you're going backwards in age with this simple test.